Sold in packs of two, Yakima crossbar clamps let you attach the lock and load platform directly to a roof rack crossbars. The lock and load requires at least two or three sets of clamps based on its size. For the right fit for your vehicle, check the fit guide in your lock and loads printed instructions or enter your vehicle on yakima.com. First things first, attach the mounting blocks to your brackets. Align the mounting blocks that came with your lock and load platform with these brackets. Then tighten the M6 by 16 mm cap screws from your platform with a 4 mm hex or torque wrench. Next, attach the mounting blocks to your crossbars. Locate the clamp under and around the crossbar and guide it through the holes in the bracket. Hand thread the nuts and washers and tighten with a 10 mm wrench. Check the platform fit guide in your platform instructions for clamp spacing and crossbar spread capabilities that are specific to your platform. For roof rack applications, space the brackets inboard of the towers as wide as possible on the crossbars. And for platforms that have six mounting blocks, install the third set in the center of the two crossbars like this. Before installing the lock and load platform to your vehicle roof, follow these general guidelines. You'll need a minimum crossbar spread of 27 and inches, and the mounting blocks must be secured from at least the second slats from the end. Make sure to not install the platform with the flange of the rail overlapping the mounting block. Now get ready to install the lock and load platform on your roof. With help from a friend, carefully lift the assembled platform onto the mounting blocks on your vehicle. Position the platform evenly so there's equal overhang on the sides, and if needed, slide the platform forward for better hatch clearance. Next, install the mounting clamps. On either side of the slots, insert one M8 T-bolt into each channel of the mounting blocks. Twist the T-bolt so that they are captured by the channels. Lower the slot clamp onto the T-bolt and install an M8 washer and lock nut, but don't fully tighten yet. Then slide the slot clamp so it engages in the side channel of the slot. Slot clamps must be installed on two separate slots for each mounting block, like this. Now fully tighten each slot clamp with a 13 mm wrench. And finally, fully tighten both nuts on each crossbar clamp. Test the installation by pushing and pulling in all directions. The lock and load platform should not slide or move on the crossbars. If they do, retighten the mounting clamps and mounting kit hardware if necessary, and recheck your work. That's it, you're done. Now get out and take it easy.